was important include Charles Chestnut's work in Dark Matter just because he was, um, like if you were going to do like a chronological study of um, black, uh, black science fiction, at least uh, American-centric black science fiction, um, um, you would have to include him because he was using the, some of our folklore, some of the African folklore um, that we brought with us. I mean, um, through the Middle Passage, they didn't allow you to bring anything but the knowledge you had in your head, the agricultural skills that they, you were stolen for. You know, whether it was um, being able to grow rice or being able um, to grow other um, foodstuffs or uh, ironworks or whatever other skills that you were taken for. Um, your language was beaten out of you for the most part, um, except there was retention, of course, in um, some of the islands, the sea islands and stuff. Um, um, so, uh, but the music that you know, the rhythm, you know, the polyrhythms, all that, that was a part of us. Um, and also, um, our spiritual beliefs were inside of us, but that also, over time, of course, was being... Um, beaten out of you as well. Um, Charles Chestnut's work um, kind of reclaimed those folklores and the ghost stories that people told um, to each other. And he did it also in vernacular, which is can be a very um, controversial area. Um, um, how much is it is um, uh, authentic and how much of it is um, uh, demoralizing or is it stereotypical, or whatever. But you know, he made his effort and he he wrote these stories, the Conjure Woman, and all these tales.